Hey everyone, the book I have today is called Fry Bread, A Native American Family Story. And before I start reading, there's a few things I wanted to talk to you about. I brought a map of the world to help me with this. So you might remember when we talked about history, how years and years and years ago, hundreds of years ago, there were people who lived in this part of the world who didn't like what was going on there. They wanted to move. They were tired of what was going on. So they wanted to move and make their own rules in their own place. So they got in giant ships and sailed all the way across the water to this spot. This right here is the United States. That's the country that you live in right now. But when the people got here, it wasn't empty. There were already people living there. The people that already lived there were called Native Americans. They were the Americans that were there first. The two groups of people lived very different lives. The people that came over on the boats had different foods, traditions, families, languages than the people that were already in the United States. So sometimes they got along and learned from each other, but sometimes they did not. When the settlers first came over here, like I said, they sometimes might have gotten along and tried to learn from each other, but a lot of the times um, things didn't go so well. So the Native Americans that were already here had their homes already, already set up, were asked to move and they might not have wanted to move, but then there was fighting, homes were destroyed, and a lot of the people who came over on the boats kind of kicked out the Native Americans and the Native Americans had to go this way, further into the United States. The book talks about it a little bit and we'll go back to it when I'm done reading the story. But there are Native Americans still here now. The people that lived hundreds and hundreds of years ago in the United States, they had children, more children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, and there are Native American people living in the United States and in other parts of the world today. So let's get to the book and then we'll talk more about it. Fry bread. Fry bread is food, flour, salt, water cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, and mixed together all in a big bowl. Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball, or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs on the stove. The, fry, the fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color, golden brown, tan, or yellow, deep like coffee, sienna, or earth, light like snow and cream, warm like rays of sun. Fry bread is flavor, sea beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese and vegetables, delight in honey and jam, rise to discover what brings us together. Fry bread is time, on weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, or our daily craft, shared from, one from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Fry bread is history, the long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our own world, with unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is place, Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California, cities and lands we call home. Fry bread is nation. Abenaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwe, Onondaga, Oglala Sioux, Nagarenset, Navajo, Nipmuc, Seminole, Shoshone, Sac, and Fox. Hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is everything. Round, flat, large, small. North, south, east, west. Brown, yellow, black, white. Familiar and foreign. Old and new. We come together. Fry bread is us. We are still here. Elder and young. Friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. After, at the end of the book, there's a recipe on how to make fry bread. The end. So there were a lot of words in this book that you might not understand. I will talk about some of those now. This page is kind of like what I talked about in the beginning of this video. It says, the long walk to the, sto the stolen land, strangers in our world with unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. So. We talked about that, that when the settlers came to the, to the United States, they kind of 
didn't get along and made the Native Americans move. So that's what it says here. Strangers in our own world with unknown food. We made recipes with what we had. So imagine that you're in your home, living your lives with your families and new people come and they kick you out. You say no and they fight back. And so you have no other choice but to move. These people in their homes were kicked out. They left everything. They had nowhere to go except one way and they walked away with nothing. And this picture shows the elder people in the family telling this very important story to the younger people in the family. I wonder if you have any stories that your parents have told you and their parents have told them and their grandparents have told them. Do you know the history of where your family members came from? This page took me a lot of time to practice. There were a lot of words here you might not have understood what they were. It says fry bread is nation at the top. And all of these names like Navajo, Ojibwe, Seminole, those are all names of types of families or tribes of Native Americans. Have you ever met anybody with the same last name as yours? A lot of people have the same first name in the same areas, but I don't know if you've ever met anybody who's not in your family but has a same last name as yours. That usually means you came kind of from similar people. And that's the idea behind all of these words that I took a long time to learn how to say. These are different types of people and different family members. This last page I wanted to talk about says that fry bread is time. It says, on weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. I think when they say fry bread is time, it means it means time together. You make that bread with your family members, you spend time talking while making it, you serve it at festivals, and something called powwows. Have you ever heard that word before? A powwow is kind of like a big party. People from all different types of nations, people with different last names, different tribes, come together and celebrate by singing, dancing, eating, and singing songs that have been around for hundreds of years. At a powwow, you will see people dancing, talking, you will see very beautiful, colorful, very detailed outfits. You will taste and eat the different types of food. You will he hear people sharing stories. One thing you will hear a lot of is drums. The drums are very loud, have a, um, a strong beat to it. And you will hear singing, loud singing, in a language that you do not understand because they speak different languages. Powwows have been happening for hundreds of years, but I wanted to save some clips for this at the end of this video for you to see what a powwow is like. So thank you for watching and reading and learning with me and stick around for some clips of a real Native American powwow.